Let's say you have a one page website and instead of scrolling all the way down to find a specific section, you can add a menu like this. It lets you jump straight to any section on the page. For example, if I click this menu item, it will automatically scroll to that section. I'll also show you how to make this menu sticky. So no matter where you are on the page, you will have the menu on top and then you can navigate to different section easily. So let's see how we can get this. Now, before starting to create our menu, we must assign CSS IDs to these sections. These CSS IDs are like the name tags for each section of your site. And then we are going to use the same CSS ID and paste them into our menu items. All right, now when someone clicks on the home button, I want them to see this section. So I'll click this section or container and on the left side, I look for CSS ID. Let's call it home. Make sure to note this down somewhere because you'll be needing it in the next chapter. Repeat the same process for each section you want in your menu. I have sections for courses, procedures and contact. So I'll quickly give each one a unique CSS ID. Now that we've got our IDs in place, let's hop over to the WordPress dashboard. Go to appearance, then click on menus. Here we are going to create a new menu from scratch. Let's name it anchor text menu. Click on create menu and next under custom links, we'll start linking our sections. In the URL field, type in a hashtag followed by the CSS ID of the section you want to link. For example, for the home section, remember we put CSS ID as home. I'll enter it here, but with a hashtag. So let's do that. In the link text field, type in home or whatever label you want your users to see in the menu. Click add to menu and done. We've added our first menu item. Repeat this for all other sections. In my case, I'll create courses, procedures, etc. by using this respective CSS IDs. After adding all our menu items, hit save menu. Now let's put this on our site. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Now let's put this on our site. To do that, go back to Elementor. From the left, I'll add a navigation menu widget and select anchor text menu from this dropdown. This tab ensures the newly created menu shows up on our page. Now to give it some flair, I'll go ahead and tweak typography, change the colors and style it by using these settings. Okay, our customizations are done. Now it's time to preview the page. Click on preview to check if everything works as expected. Now I'll click on this and yeah, it takes me to the right section. Now let's say you want the same menu to appear on another page, but when someone clicks on it, they should be redirected to the respective sections on your main page. Confused? Let me explain. So I'm on the about us page and I have the same menu here. If I click it, it does not take me to the main page or section. So to make this work, head to that first page, copy the full URL of your home page, and paste it into the URL field under the menu items. Then add a hashtag and the relevant CSS ID at the end of the URL like this. This way, when someone clicks the menu item, it will take them to the right section on the first page. Once done, save the menu and let's preview the page. Okay, I'll click it and yeah, it's working just fine. Now let's see how we can add a drop down menu in these menu items and make them clickable so that it takes viewers to the respective section. I'll create a drop down under courses that links to different language sections. First, let's start by assigning CSS IDs. Just click it on the left, put your desired CSS ID, then head back to the dashboard and add more menu items for each language section. Go here, click this and add your labels here. Okay, our menu items are ready. It's time to make them sub items. To do that, simply drag each language menu item slightly to the right underneath this menu. This makes them sub items creating a drop down structure. Now let's preview the page. We can see the drop down menu under courses. And when I click on any of the options, it smoothly takes to the respective language section. Finally, a quick note on mobile version. Sometimes on mobile view, 
clicking a menu item might jump you to the wrong section or to the middle of a section. To fix this, tweak the inner container's padding or margins to ensure it scrolls to the correct spot. Also, check if the CSS IDs are linked to the correct section or containers. Alright, check out this video if you want to make the menu sticky at the top.